a lot of sense because I mean, come on, you don't use beef sandwich if you're a fucking DPS or something. <laughs> yeah, imagine but, a dead goose running around in a beef sandwich. <laughs> but of course, we gotta move on onto the lurcher sandwich. I mean, who wouldn't want to find a chameleon-looking pet in their sandwich? It's more of an expensive food though for tanks because it does give you max HP but it also gives you more healing received so you get 10% more healing and 10% more HP so for combat I'd have to throw it into S but you know profitability is another thing. Well if it's an S tier in combat it's naturally going to sell in high volumes that makes it an instant S tier for crafting too there's really not much to say about it so I am concerned about the rare fish that is used to craft it if you have a source to get this fish and if you have buyer setup this will be one of the best things you can craft so i mean as you said like the resource uh, return rate is also going to give you more of the higher tier um, resources back you know yeah the so rare it fish is tier right yeah okay let's leave it at that then we both agree holy shit <laughs> But I mean, we do have to look at the other foods other than tanks and maximum HP ones. So let's move on to the Avalonian beef stew. I mean, this gives you more damage and health regen, but I don't think there is a need for health regen during a fight because you're not going to get any. I mean, I wouldn't I think, see anyone using I think this is one of the best foods in the game though. Oh, holy shit. Let's keep it there. What, what secret info do you have? Holy fuck. So this is mainly used in fights where you abuse the health regen mechanic of the game. So you hit someone, you trade and you try to reset the fight. So when the fight resets, since your opponent is on full combat based food without any health regen, they will be on low HP. But as soon as you are out of combat, you will heal very fast due to the health regen.
to search around in discords and you know try to source the material you can fish for yourself because you'll need like hundreds of these things for crafting all of your focus so even if it is profitable it's just not worth the trouble holy shit you know a lot about food huh well i hope i do <laughs> what on to the yields to tier 6 i mean for usability i throw this into a tier i think because it is a good food for brawling and clapping if you need to clap quick and playing a cooldown comp but honestly i'm not really sure how you craft these things again i think a tier is a little too high for this food because we have eels in the ingredient recipe which are rare fish which will make trouble for you to source the ingredients and this food is only tier 6 so you can just buy the tier 8 variant for not too much more cost and you'll get better results anyway in combat so this is a c tier or a b tier at best for me then let's settle in b tier the middle ground that sounds good okay so let's move on to the avalonian pork omelet it gives you casting speed cooldown reduction and also defenses so it's good for a mage in combat let's say support and maybe some great arcane role, something like that. Do so, people actually use always, this? Like, yeah, people use this. Like it gives you a bunch of really, really small buffs, right? Wouldn't you yeah. rather have a single strong buff like a poor comlet? No, people usually use this for like, let's say you're playing a locus or enigmatic. You're gonna have faster cooldowns. You're gonna have more defenses so you don't die. <laughs> and you're gonna have the more casting speed you know okay so i'll throw this into b but what would you say out of the profitability tier list profitability is going to be high because this is a avalonian food avalonian foods in general are costly so b tier might be appropriate it might be an a tier if the ingredients were easier to source but again with these rare ingredients it
it's very rare in the crafting tree so you just have to buy a bunch of cabbage and focus craft them you can make a lot of money not a lot of money but you will make quick money because it sells in such high volumes and it's quite useful so eight years is good absolutely man and we got the deep water kraken salad i know you might use this a lot if you're crafting anything else than food because it isn't good for food crafting but it gives you more crafting speed and crafting quality if you're making armor let's say you'll get more excellence more outstandings with it and the enchantments make it even, even higher that said you get more masterpiece items too yeah i mean more masterpiece items definitely so i gotta throw it into i think it's gonna be eight here though mm. from the perspective of it being usable for any end game crafter that does 8.3 armors or weapons i think this is an s tier for actual crafters but for a food crafter this is a dog shit item because if you have a buyer like who is willing to buy them off you for bulk this is the best food to craft in the entire game but if you don't have a buyer setup it's a huge pain to buy these krakens because it will take a bunch of time to buy these krakens they're very rare and the kraken salads themselves don't sell on the market they sell like one every day it is nuts trying to sell them i made them once and i'm never going to make them again but in general in a, right? yeah it can stay in a because it's very good for what it does and if you have a buyer this is the best option available so a tier is good for it absolutely oh dry book crab omelet yeah that's right the tier 5 one it's gonna go into c tier because honestly actually i throw it into d tier for usability who the fuck would like this honestly what's the buff it gives you it gives you an extra casting speed buff a cooldown reduction and what? less energy cost
the only use you have for them if you have any friends or if you mail any plot owners about you crafting some omelets or pies in bulk they can buy it off you which is some quick profit but they are really cheap ingredients and they only give you cheap ingredients in the resource return so they are c tier at best but d tier is fine yeah of course i always place them correctly i never do it wrong so except for the agree beef on the t <laughs> dog shit only oh yeah only beef stew uh, but now the pork pie the better version the older brother the cooler one just like my brother but let, let's move on to the onto the items so it gives you the same effects as the goose by those it gives you gathering gear but five percent more it gives you load capacity also 10 percent more than its counterpart so let's throw it into 80 actually s tier for me because gatherers really need it yeah it's one of the most important foods in the entire game it basically runs our economy at this point because you know everything in the game is crafted by players and players need this food without this food there'd be 10 percent less of everything basically because everything is gathered with this food on for the amount of impact it has on the game it's a easy s tier but from the perspective of a crafter it's a tier 7 ingredient so it's not very profitable but s tier is fine for this food yeah absolutely because it is that good as i just said i don't do anything <laughs> incorrect so the potato salad let's throw the potato salad which gives you by the way a little bit of crafting quality and a little bit of crafting speed i mean why would you even buy this if you have the kraken salad if you're already doing it just get the kraken salad but i'd have to throw it into c tier because it is usable but it is shit but it's actually a lot more usable because kraken salads typically go for 40 to 35,000 somewhere around there but the potato salad can sell for
No one buys the roast pork enchanted. The reason is the base roast pork almost gives you 10% life steal and the point one only gives you 11% life steal so it's a lot more expensive for practically no major benefits. That's why for crafting you can only craft plain 0.0 roast pork that's not very profitable but just for the usability in combat it can be an SP. I mean I don't really use it that much but of course as you said it is usable and mostly a lot of people use it if they're doing solo statics like rich people with eight threes and eight fours do you like know? Like me? Yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but of course I think there's better you know roasted food just as the clear hay snapper the tier 5 one although it's not the best because it does have a higher tier version I'd have to throw this into C tier because it is alrighty but of course I wouldn't buy that unless I'm on my last silver and I really need it I'd rather suck off a homeless guy under a bridge <laughs> but I mean it's basically up to you so as we already said this food is very hard to sell no one buys it and it is a tier 5 food so it will be really hard to make profit of them C tier seems fair because the buffs it gives you is very good it gives you max health and lifestyle right yeah so yeah C tier okay. seems fair I think also the tier 7 one it gives you 6.6% lifesteal and 10% health basically so I think yeah, that's good. the tier 7 one the tier 7 one should go into S tier well that's my opinion of course I don't know yes. about the profitability as I said uh, it's an absolute S tier for profitability too because if you look at the ingredients it has rare fish but it sells in such a high volume that it does not matter that it has a rare fish it's expensive it does not matter because it's one of the best foods to use in brawling pvp builds
but of and course, subscribe it's after that. Not to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually on Albion right now, crafting the foods already, man. Market's fucked. Yeah, I no, think... but uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's about it for the tier lists. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll see you later, alligator.